Hi, I'm Dr. Jennifer Murdoch with Plastic Eye Surgery Associates, and I'm here to discuss tearing. Tears are necessary to lubricate, rinse, and provide nutrients to the surface of the eyes. Tears are produced in the lacrimal gland, travel across the eye, and then follow along the eyelid to the nasolacrimal system to exit through the nose. The eyelids serve two purposes in this process, to blink tears in foreign materials across the eye and to act as a pump so the tears move out through the tear drainage system. Within the eyelid, there are two openings called puncta found on the inner corner of the upper and lower eyelids. These are connected to canaliculi, which then drain the tears into the nasolacrimal sac that lies along the side of the nose. From the sac, the tears travel through the nasolacrimal duct and exit into the nose. Excessive tearing can be caused by two problems. Your body is producing too many tears, or two, the tears are not draining properly. Your body produces tears as a response to irritation of the surface of the eye, but it can overcompensate during severe and chronic issues, such as in dry eyes, allergies, or even problems with the eyelid that cause the eyelashes to rub up against the eye. Then you have too many tears flowing into the eye and they can't be drained out quickly enough. Overproduction is generally treated by removing the surface irritation, correcting the eyelid problem, or providing better lubrication for the surface of the eye. The other problem may be that tears are running down the cheek because the tear drainage system isn't working. Sometimes the eyelids are loose or turned out like an ectropion, and then the tears are not properly directed towards the exit. This can be corrected with surgical repositioning or tightening of the eyelid. Alternatively, you may have a blockage in the tear drainage system, causing a clogged drain, so to say. When tearing is due to a drainage problem, I am your plumber. Tearing can be caused by a blockage at any point along the system due to different causes. In babies, a blocked opening called the valve of Hasner hasn't quite opened up yet. Babies can get mucus and tears that build up in the eyelashes of one side or the other. Luckily, this is most often cured with a technique referred to as Kreigler massage. With massage, air is pushed through the nasolacrimal system and with time and pressure, the valve finally pops open, allowing tears to flow through without problem. In the rare case that massage is ineffective, surgery may be warranted to open up the system. In most adults, the most common cause of tearing due to inefficient drainage is caused by a blockage along the nasolacrimal duct. Chronic sinusitis, allergies, and trauma can all lead to this problem. With a clog in the system, the tears don't drain properly, reflux back to the eye, and stream down the cheek. In unfortunate situations, a buildup of fungus or bacteria can occur in the nasolacrimal sac, causing a serious infection called dacryocystitis. Surgery involves bypassing the blockage and rerouting the tears by creating a new passageway for tears to drain into the nose. An opening is created in the nasolacrimal sac so that the tears enter the nose in a different location. Any infectious or foreign material can also be removed at the time of surgery. This surgery is called a dacryocystorhinostomy, or DCR for short, and is usually performed using a small camera to operate inside the nose. Different techniques like temporary silicone stents and medication that reduces scarring can be included in this procedure to help keep the new opening patent and keep those tears flowing. If you suffer from tearing or are interested in more information, please contact us at Plastic Eye Surgery Associates and schedule a consultation.